Finally, here is the Special K HDR video. I don't want to get very excited about it because it is not perfect. It requires some tweakings. It doesn't work for every single game. You get a lot of crashes. If you want to use Reshade with the HDR analysis tool, if you want to use MSI Afterburner, it is not a smooth sailing here, okay? But if you don't care about perfection, if you want to have an option that works, sometimes it's just amazing, okay? Give it a try. I strongly recommend you to give it a try. So now I'm gonna show you a special cape, link in the description of the video, download it, install it, it's just next, next, fi finish, done, very easy. You open it, it's a program. It's not like reshade that you have to do it per game. You just install a single program, you open it, and you're gonna see listed some of the games that you have installed on your PC already that are supported. And then you just select the game, and you hit launch, and hopefully it works. <laughs> you have no crashes. So now, this video is like third attempt, because I've been trying to get, as you see here, Reshade working with a special K and for some reason it works the first time I set it up and then I hit record I try to make the video and it crashes so I have to you know uninstall Reshade and do a fresh install of Reshade why I don't understand this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about that might be problematic but let me show you okay it works the first time only with Reshade and I want to show you the HDR analysis tool so all you have to do when you open the game with a special K is hit Control Shift and back, um, you know the delete uh, key on your keyboard, and you will see this menu. You see a bunch of stuff that I have open from a special K because this is a very advanced tool. We have so much monitoring. This is just absolute insanity. <laughs> like if you want to play your games like this. It's just crazy. You know, sometimes I like to play the games with MSI Afterburner numbers in the corner, but this is just madness. <laughs> Monitoring madness right now. But you can give it a try. I don't, I don't even know what all this stuff is. I would just try and see if it works. So now, what you have to do to get HDR working on Special K is you just click here where it says HDR and it crashed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. It crashed just by touching the HDR. And it's because of this HDR analysis tool. Okay, So if I don't touch it, if I just open the game and play it after I set it up, it might be fine. Okay, but it's just... It, things like this happen. Okay, but I cannot repeat this video again. <laughs> I'm being completely you know, clear in that this can happen. So let, let's figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, just delete reshade because it's causing an issue here. It's clearly reshade. Like if I just delete it, you'll see that there's no issues. Let me just come here, reshade, and I'll install it from this game. Uh, okay, this is a new game by the way. Just a recent, uh, you know, game for kids. <laughs> very colorful. HDR looks very good. I'll show you. So we uninstall reshade. Let's give it a try again. Let's launch it. Hopefully, it's good now. <laughs> and yeah, I wanted to show you the HDR analysis tool to talk about the black levels and the gamma adjustments and all of that. But now, let's see if it works now. I'm gonna open the tool, just click HDR. See, it works. It's just reshade. It is conflicting with reshade. So you click here on HDR, click on HDR setup, and you get this menu right here. And all you have to do is click on you know, SC RGB HDR. It's just an HDR format. That's the HDR format that, uh, that Auto HDR uses. Uh, and then we have some settings here, depending on the brightness that you're looking for. You see here 934.5 candelas per square meter. Now, in my testing with the HDR analysis tool, I find out that this number here is not accurate. Okay. It's pushing a little bit more brightness. Uh, most of the time and the other thing that I see is that for some reason the brightness is kind of flickering it's like it is forcing tone mapping down again and again and again 
I think it might be some of this menus picking up, being picked up by the HDR analysis tool. Um, I think it might be this thing here. You see LG SS CR2. I think it's this, this is where the flickering is coming from. But anyway, it is not exactly this is the brightness that you're getting. So ideally, you use it on a game where you can use the HDR analysis tool. So you can tweak this brightness and also what you have to tweak is this uh, SDR to HDR gamma, okay? This default gamma, I see that it works very well in some games, but it is not consistent for every single game. Like sometimes it looks too dark near black, sometimes it looks too bright, sometimes you have black level rays that you have to fix. So you would use reshade, which it worked for me. It worked one time. <laughs> and then when I tried to open it again, it crashes. You would use reshade, you can use that this SDR black floor emulation. So you use the Lilium's HDR black floor fixed shader, SDR black floor emulation, and that might fix that. Otherwise, you can you know play around with this value. If you increase it, you lower the black level a little bit, but mostly then the gamma near black is affected more than crushing. So if you need to crush some black level rays, reshade is the best option when it works. In this case, it was crashing after the first uh, try, basically. So I tried. When it worked, it worked perfect. But after I opened the game one more time, it was crashing. So let's take a look at it, basically. That's all we have to do. I would increase this a little bit more. So, yeah, but I would need the HDR analysis tool or, or a lot of testing to know if this is the correct value. Who knows? It looks good regardless. It's not going to look washed out or anything. Let me get some of these <laughs> things out of the way. We have a lot of monitoring. Uh, one thing I would do for all the games here with my NVIDIA GPU, I would come here to Frame Limiter, Advanced. I showed this on a previous video. And use NVIDIA Low Latency Plus Boost. Okay, that's going to potentially improve the latency, the responsiveness of the game. And then I would just let me get all this tools out of the way, this on-screen display, boom, start uh, eliminating some of these widgets, frame pacing, CPU, GPU, latency analysis, threads, see we got all of that out of the way, and let's see how the game looks, actually, see, <laughs> it looks very good, um, it looks very good, but the near black gamma and the black level is not perfect, you have to, you have to tweak it, and the HDR analysis tool is necessary to get the best results, basically. So if it's crashing, that's a problem. That's a problem. But give it a try, man. Give it a try. You might be surprised how good it looks and how good it works when it works. And yeah, unless you don't, you care about, you know, perfection, this just looks very good. I mean, if you're just going to play this game, no problem. It just looks very, very good. And I'm using OLED Motion Pro High. It is bright enough. Uh, I'm using it with dynamic tone mapping. That's why you see that I increased that brightness to over 900 nits. So I'm not sure why 900 is the maximum. 930 something like. I, had a, I have a hot key here. 934.5. Again, it's a little bit more than that. But I'm not sure why you cannot go over, over that. Um, so yeah, the other thing you might have to tweak is the this gamut expansion. The colors might look uh, overly saturated in some games, especially if you have to increase this gamma. Um, so yeah, it, it requires some tweaking, but it looks very good. I have to say that. It does look very good. And this might be even better than Auto HDR if you tweak the settings, because the graph looks very good. The graph, I would say, on the using the HDR analysis uh, tool, when it works, <laughs> the graph looks very good. Uh, you don't see like those lines that are because of eight bits on the graph. So it looks very solid, very beautiful graph. Um, so this might be even better than the major paint the cactus mod and the auto HDR from Windows 11. But the thing is. The major paint the cactus mod is just flawless. You just need to detect the side gamma 2.2 or sRGB 
and that's it. I'm talking about a reshape mod to force HDR10 on the games uh, that works um, amazing with Lilium's inverse tone mapping. Okay, so that works so good, so well. Um, all you have to do is to detect if the game is Gamma 2.2 or sRGB, select that on the Lilium's uh, inverse tone mapping, and that's it. It's gonna look very consistently, just perfect. And the auto HDR, watch the videos, uh, link in the description, where I show you the ICC profile I downloaded to fix auto HDR for games that are Gamma 2.2, okay? For games that are sRGB, you just use the Windows 11 HDR calibration app. So those two methods might not be better than this in terms of quality because also there are some games that allow you to do like a 11 bits remaster and 128 bits uh, remaster something like that that it seems like it's going to add more like bit depth more information to the HDR and look even better and it looks very good I have to say the thing is it is not consistent it's not like oh you just turn it on and this gamma looks correct the black level is absolutely perfect and the color saturation looks right on every single game i cannot say that because it's just not it's just not perfect uh, you you need to tweak it but here's the thing if you are already installing this you install reshade you get the lilium shaders the hdr analysis tool all these tools that i've been presenting to you the idea here is not for me to become a master and being able to tell you these are the right settings you, know, you have to use or or have to you know for each game that comes out ha you know me having to test a lot so I can tell you exactly the ultimate HDR settings. That's not the idea here because I'm not an expert anyway. I'm doing the same thing that you can do, which is basically install the tools play around with them and learn how to get the picture quality that you like. You might like overly saturated colors. Let's <laughs> just increase the gamut and get wild colors. That's it. If that's what you like to enjoy. So the best thing at the end of the day is for us to get familiar with these options that we have available and get the best out of them. Okay, that's it. So just learn, figure it out. This can give you an absolutely amazing HDR. No question about that. You just need to tweak the settings and and figure it out. And learn what you need depending on your display. If you need more or less brightness, the gamma depending on your display. It's a great option. Absolutely. So give it a try. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you are all, if you're already very experienced with a special K and you have like some conclusions that you can share with us. Absolutely, I am all ears. Uh, for now, I will still try this in more games. Maybe I will figure out some global tips that I can give you. Hey, for most games, use this or that. I need more testing. Okay, so far, I cannot find like a pattern. Like some games look absolutely amazing. Some games I have to tweak this gamma. Some games look overly saturated. I have to lower the, the colors. The brightness is not exactly what they're telling you here sometimes. And sometimes I have to fix the black level race with the Lilium shaders. It's not consistent. So I cannot, I cannot go crazy here and tell you, hey, this works for everything. And just one click and done because it's not. I have to keep it real here. And I'm, and I'm telling you all the issues that I had to get this uh, working. And actually, you saw it. It was crashing. And this, is, this is not the first attempt. To make this video and the first the first time i tried to make the video i was showing you everything all the amount of times that this crash and me trying to figure it out and it was too long so i said no man i might record another video i'm just gonna let you know that that happened um because i don't understand why the hdr analysis tool was working perfectly fine like a couple of times like i was able to play the game use it play around with all, everything and then I just open the game one more time and it's just not working why who knows <laughs> it's just PC stuff so if you have a PC 
learn how to do PC stuff. <laughs> Share your thoughts and opinions. You know, let's learn together. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to to help you out. Maybe uh, I'm not very experienced yet, but with this thing, but I'll try my best.